What if I told you if you avoid these two areas, you will also avoid failure, lack of joy, and discontent? This is Tad Fulford with Rise Up in Real Estate. And in today's video, I wanna give you two threats to your success, to your joy, and your content. These threats are sneaky. These threats are right around the corner. These threats are everywhere you look. First of all, the first threat, please don't forget to set an upper limit in your business. We all are very good about setting goals for our business. We always do this every October, November, December. We set our course for the next year. We ask ourselves, what is it that we want to accomplish? What are the things that we have to do in order to be content? If you want to put it this way, live the life that you want to live. We call it abundance. What are the things that we have to accomplish in order to live that life? And we set our course on that way. We say, okay, we do these things every hour by hour, day by day, week by week, the end of the year we will achieve our goals but a lot of times we forget to put an upper limit on our expectations are your goals your upper limit and what i mean by that is do you have a point where you will quit where you will rest where you will hobby where you will vacation where you will just say i've done all i need to do it's very scary in this market that we live in today we are in such high demand that around every single corner there's a customer around every single corner there's a client Every time we open up our email, every time we look at our text, every time we answer our phone, every time we make a phone call, there's another person there that needs help. Without an upper limit, you will help them all, or at least you will try to. Unfortunately, what that means, if you do that, if you don't have an upper limit, an upper limit and you don't turn things off the way that you should and say enough is enough, you will be in the pursuit of a finish line that never stops moving. And then the things that will happen is your children won't know you, your spouse won't know you, your body will begin to not know you, your diet will not know you, nutrition and the list, your church, your book club, the list, your foursome for golf, the list could go on and on and on. If you don't have a stopping point, the pursuit of the moving finish line will sink you. You have to have an upper limit because really, if you think about it, is more always better? Is the most always the best? I would argue that it's not. I would argue that you need to set your sights on the things that allow you to live the life that you want to live and you say no to everything else. The second threat to your success, to your joy and your to your content is comparison. Someone very wise once said, comparison is the thief of joy. And if you compare yourself to other people on a daily basis in your personal or professional life, you will be in a race that cannot be won. Think about the logic behind comparing yourself to other people. The only thing that matters about that, the only time that ever matters, is if you're trying to live the exact same life as another person. Then you can compare yourself and say, did we achieve the same things? Can we live that life? They lived it sooner or better than I did. I, I didn't live it as good as they did. Then you can be happy or discontent with how you end up in that way. But in most cases, we compare ourselves to things and people that don't really matter. Someone else's accomplishments don't pay your mortgage. Someone else's accomplishments don't help your marriage to be happy. Someone else's accomplishments don't keep you in shape, keep you healthy, and keep you sane. What you have to do is focus so clearly on what your expectations of your life is that you work in comparison only to yourself. You've heard it said this way, I just want to be one minute better that I was yesterday, one item better, one action point better than I was the day before, and then you've accomplished something. But as we look around at, in our business, real estate companies that set goals, they call these clubs or they call these levels that we reach and people celebrate when each person reaches those levels and the ones that don't reach them sometimes feel bad, feel less than, feel not as worthy. And all these levels mean is an amount of money that someone has made or a level of accomplishment it has nothing to do with whether they're living the life that they set out to live. And so why do we celebrate? Why do we look at our colleague and say, I'm not as good as that person, when in fact, your ultimate goal should be to pursue the things that allow you to live the life that you wanna live. So don't let these two thieves rob you 
of your contentment, of your success, and of your joy. Don't forget to set an upper limit. Know when to say no. And secondly, don't compare yourself to other people because the only person that is gonna ever have to answer for your success is you. I'm Tad Fulford with Rise Up in Real Estate, and I hope this thought today helps you rise up. Thank you.